Hey guys, welcome to Hatchtags. This is Mike Hatch, and uh, I'm about to do a workout here at Beat Fitness with my buddy Brian Tevis, who is an incredible trainer, by the way. If you haven't checked Beat out, it's amazing. And uh, but they have this cool slogan on the back wall that we see in big letters that says "Live Empowered." So, Brian. Tell us a little bit about what does live empowered mean here? Yeah, for sure. I think um, if I could summarize it as, as short and as simple as I can, live empowered means living your absolute best life possible in all avenues. Love it. All right. I love it. So I've learned a ton about what it means to live empowered just seeing Dr. Dan Turak who owns B Fitness and then getting trained by this incredible guy as well. Uh, learned a ton just about health wise, how to live empowered. But I want to talk today about living empowered from a spiritual perspective when it comes to our manhood. So let's talk about that. All right, I love Beat Fitness and uh, Turat Chiropractic because all my life I've had back problems. And the beautiful thing about what Dan Turak does is he educates me in terms of my own struggles, my own unique uh, issues that I'm having with my back. And then he begins to educate me in terms of how to do exercises to remedy those solutions. So then in the future, as I have back issues that may come up or issues with my body that come up, now I'm educated in such a way that I can begin to start taking steps myself and not be as dependent on my chiropractor or my personal trainer because they've now educated and encouraged and, and empowered me to do it myself. But initially I had to start by saying, this problem is beyond me. I can't fix it myself. I need to admit my own helplessness in trying to fix my problem. I need to step into the light, the truth about the situation, that this problem is beyond me, I can't do it, but I know this other guy possibly can. So I gotta step out and trust Dr. Dan and so that they can help lead and guide me. But I've gotta be humble enough to say, I can't do it, it's out of my hands, I have no solution. And so living empowered by the light is very similar to that. Jesus said in John chapter three, he said, people love the darkness because they fear that their evil deeds uh, might be exposed if they step into the light. And so we'd rather hide in the dark. As guys, this is so prevalent because we live in such fear. We live in fear of being found out. We live in fear of people judging us or disrespecting us. We live in fear of, of shame, of having the things that we have kept close and hidden in the dark for so long that if they were exposed, uh, people really wouldn't love us or we wouldn't garner the respect or uh, we wouldn't be worthy of, uh, of, of the position maybe we hold professionally or our, our, our wives or our families or whatever it is. These are the reasons why we often hide in the dark instead of stepping into the light because we know we're evil. We know we've got sin in us and ultimately we have to come to a place where we throw up our hands and say, I can't do this anymore. It's beyond me. Now, Jesus also said, conversely, that those who live by the truth, they, they come into the light so that it can be plainly seen that what we're doing has actually been done or accomplished by God, that it's actually not us, that it's him. You know, so I'm sitting here telling you about my back problems, for example, and the issues I have, and now how I've learned to take care of myself, but ultimately, I'm looking back to Dan, Dr. Turak, who was the one who helped to educate me and really empower me and encourage me to grow in this area and learn how to take care of myself. So in a sense, the glory goes to Dan. Just like in a sense, uh, the glory for us living a whole uh, life of peace and joy and purpose should ultimately come from God, not ourselves. The paradox is, as much as we fear the light and being exposed and found out, that's actually the best place that we can be, is in the light, to be exposed and to be open and vulnerable because that is where we find God's grace. 
So I'm standing in front of a window right now, and the shade is pulled down, and there's a certain amount of light coming in that you can see who I am, okay? And you kind of see the features of my face, whatever. Now, if I were to raise this curtain, this light, and raise it up so that the light was to expose, whew, yeah, so the light would expose more of who I am, okay? So now it is bright. And in some sense, the light can be repulsive. It can feel like, oh, it can feel like an intrusion, right? And, and you wince and you shut your eyes, kind of like when you just wake up in the morning and you just flick on the light in the bathroom before you take a shower. Same thing. Initially, the light can feel oh, overwhelming and disorienting. But the longer we spend our time in the light, the more we adjust to that. And the more we adjust to truly who we are. So like, I'm in the light, and now maybe you might be able to see some imperfections in my face. Maybe some scars, maybe some weird sun marks, you know. You can see the crookedness of my teeth, maybe better. There's all sorts of things now you can see about me that you couldn't maybe otherwise if the shade was drawn like it was, okay? Plus, as I'm standing here, it's still bright. Whew, it is still bright. But over time, when we spend time in the light of God's truth, it becomes more bearable and we get more comfortable with who we are, the imperfections, the good things, not because of who we are, but because of who God is, because of his faithfulness to us. Now we can rest in that and know that he's good and we don't have to question his character and we can trust him and grow more and more confident in him. And so I can, I can open the window up, whoops, going down. I can open the window up even further and let more light in maybe uh, and, and continue to do that and continue to walk in the light, take those steps to walk in the light and, uh, and be more real about who I am because, and as I do that, I gain more confidence in God. It's not by anything we've done. He's already done what we couldn't do. He's already lived the righteous life we could never live. He's already paid the price by dying the death that we could not die, uh, the penalty that we could not pay. He bought us back from slavery to sin and darkness. And now we can live uh, with his righteousness covering us. As we trust him, God looks at us as if he's looking at Christ, as if, as if Christ's righteousness were wrapped around us uh, or our sins were washed away, like the Bible talks about. And the more we walk in the light, the more we become more convinced of that reality in our lives. So that is what living empowered by the light means. It means getting comfortable with being who we really truly are and basking in the glory of God's unconditional love and faithfulness to us. Then, man, oh, we're free. We have peace. There's no need to try to like perform to earn our acceptance from others or earn other people's approval from us or try to earn some kind of standing before God. Now I am free to just be myself and enjoy a relationship with God instead of always trying to perform. That's a big, big trap that many of us men fall into. We come to faith in Christ. We believe in God, but then we transfer the way we look, the paradigm of, of the way we look at our world, uh, maybe our profession, our careers, whatever, but the way the world's values work and we overlay that onto our faith and we think we need to perform or do something to earn our standing before God. And the total opposite is true. In actuality, once we uh, become content and secure in Christ, interestingly enough, often our performance will actually grow as a result of that because we're more comfortable in God's faithfulness uh, to us and we have less to risk, really, because the greatest risk has already been thwarted. God has already died for our sins. He's already proved himself faithful. And so we know we can trust him. And so we can walk in the light and bask in the light and allowing God's unconditional love to heal us and transform us from the inside out. Let's stop living the double life, okay? Let's come out of the dark, live empowered by the light.